We're getting off the ship today. Whoa! In the port of Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Hey! Hey, how you doing? Is it toxic? Uh, no. <laughs> Boy, the fumes inside the ship are. We'll see you uh, in a couple days. David, the environmental officer, he ate dinner with a few times and he's going to eat dinner with us once more, supposedly. Hey, the Norwegian Joy is pulling in on the other side of us right now. And it says, welcome to Victoria, Canada. So the ship's back there. The information center's right there. I believe they have, you know, information. Walk, cycle, or ride to town. So we must be on Pier B. Yes, you, are. you are here. So we're going to go on this blue line. And then up to there, I think. And then we're going to come back that way. Came out of that building. We brought our passports and they stamped them, so we have Canadian stamps now. There's an information center here. There's a little gift shop and a food place here. There's these handy signs that tell you where to go. Horse trolley, downtown. We want to go to Fisherman's Wharf, so we want to go this way. Bike rental, shuttle. They charge $16 for the shuttle. I guess it's a round trip, I don't know, but $16. You see the currency exchange, gift shop. Return to ship is over on this side. And there's these uh, starfish on the sidewalk. See what that says? See, town that way, ship that way, ship that way. So, that's handy and convenient. How could you possibly get lost in Victoria? And washrooms, which you might know as an outhouse. So, it seems to be directing us to cross the street here. So, we're going to go on up, walk along the waterfront, over to downtown, maybe get as far as Chinatown, and then we're going to cut through Beacon Hill Park, we hope, which will bring us back to the ship, obviously, but a different way. Norwegian Joy even pulled in next to us. It's a little bit bigger than the Maz Dam. We have these crossing guards here. I'm not sure what they're doing in a dish of water. I don't know why. A map. And now we're walking along the street. Only been walking for a third of a mile. I can see the water out there now. And this huge building where they like mixed old and new or something. Some locals. Came around there from the left. Like I say, we've walked not even half a mile. There's Fisherman's Wharf Park, though, if you're interested. So I guess this is Fisherman's Wharf down here, which is our first stop. And I see a walkway with chains around it, so I think that's where we'll go. Oh, and there's some of the houseboats. Do you see them there? This is the Harbor Master's Office for the Port of Victoria. I know that because I read the sign. No RV parking or overnight camping here and no parking anytime. Thanks for visiting. Anyway, so these are 
businesses floating in the water and homes, houseboats. And a seaplane, I think, getting ready to take off out there. So we walk down along here and we're gonna go on down here because this is Fisherman's Wharf, One Dallas Road. Smoke and anchor, good food and cold beer. Little water taxis there, see them? One's taken off. Ice cream. Whoa. Mexican seafood. And an abundance of tourists. Right? Whale watching and wildlife tours. Water taxi. Hello. So I think people live in these. Look at that one. <laughs> I think they're private residences. This is a floating B and B. See those? Well, this must be the whale watching boat. Look at those engines. Holy mackerel. Look at this place. And somebody's getting their picture taken as the water taxis pull in and out. Après vous, s'il vous plaît. plan. So we're headed over there, of course. This is the end of the line. We're leaving Fisherman's Wharf here and going to continue on this sidewalk. I think we have to go that way, although there's a little point of land out here, sort of a lookout you might call it. but it's a dead end. And it's a no drone zone. So we're gonna continue on up to the left there. Hey, that's a Canada goose or two. Fisherman's Wharf was right around there to the right where these bikes are coming out of. Um, I'm assuming we go up this way. Or maybe it's this way. Yeah, I think it's this way. We've lost all markings, although that one says Fisherman's Wharf and Ogden Point. But it looks like there's a little boardwalk along here. And there's some uh, houseboats, the ones we walked by earlier. And these are berry bushes. Guessing apartments. And some Canada geese. So now here's a sign again Ogden Point, Fisherman's Wharf, Fisherman's Wharf. Now this says the pathway is closed if we go on ahead the way we're headed. So we're going to have to go out onto the street. But you can see the sign that's normally there. Normally you'd go that way, I guess, but we're going to have to go off this way. I think we want to be on this sidewalk, maybe. And then we'll make a left. $15 for transportation only. Blue Crab, that must be a restaurant in this hotel. Okay. And that's a taxi, a Victoria taxi. 
So we've gotten, we started here, now we're out here, and we're gonna go off that way. Normally you can go around Laurel Point, but not today, and probably not for several months, I suppose. There's some more signs telling us where to go, though. Montreal Street. So this is where we would have been coming out had we gone around Laurel Point. And it really, it doesn't look closed from here, but they say it is, and I'm gonna trust them. This is Huntington Manor. And I believe this is the inner harbor here. So we've come down from over there. Hi. People selling things. And I don't know what they are. There's the Days Inn. Doesn't really fit with everything else around here. Of course, neither does the Best Western Plus. The Black Ball Ferry Line. If you want to take a ferry to somewhere else. Grand Pacific Hotel. See a dome off in the distance. I'm guessing it's something governmental, but I don't know. Double decker hop on, hop off bus. Hey, they got these. How much is this? 42 Canadian dollars. Yeah, okay, thank you. Dollars. Right. How much is this? Wildlife up close and personal at the Robert Bateman Center. Are they saying to go in there? Let's walk in. See what it is. Shop. Ten dollars. Here's the Empress Hotel. Here's a map. You are here. Legislative Precinct, Royal BC Museum, Empress Hotel. Of course, we came from down there. Fisherman's Wharf, way down there by the ships, right? The lemonade stand down there. If you like lemonade and are thirsty enough to buy it, so this is the inner harbor. And that's the legislative building with a lot of people. So over at the Royal BC Museum, they have a carillon or bells that started playing. It was because it was one o'clock, even though it's just one now, not even one now according to my watch, but maybe we're on Canadian time. So we're going to walk down along the water there for a little bit, and then we're going to try to walk into the Empress Hotel. Two scoops of ice cream. Five dollars. Got a little totem pole here. down these stairs.
this is the Canadian kiosk. This is the home of the Commonwealth Games. Wiltons. This is Inky Orchid Henna. Inky Orchid Henna. Inky Orchid Henna. And then this is T-shirts. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Place of mud. I'm not sure what that is. People selling their wares, though. You can go on a three hour sail on that boat there. Woolly Mammoth Tusk Guitar Picks. Woolly Mammoth Soap. There's Water Taxi again. Not sure what these people are geared up for, but they look like they mean business. Apparently it was a wet ride. Still walking along the waterfront. That over there is the area we couldn't walk by because of the remediation. So apparently when they go out on a whale watching boat they wear these orange suits because it's just in a big zodiac and it's kind of wet I guess. My guess is the suits float too so when you fly out of the zodiac you'll float and maybe keep you warm the flying otter grill so the empress is right around the corner there there's the government building uh, we've got some construction going on up here i think this is called government street that's called wharf street i thought it was called government street So Chinatown is up here a little, in a little ways, in a little while. Can you see through there? Yeah, I don't see anything, but there it is. Janet's gonna look. Janet's not gonna look. Could you see through it? Janet could not see through it. Look at this street here. I've got a canoe with tulips, I guess. Tulips. Maybe those are poppies before they open. And some guy singing Coldplay. Smell it, but maybe it is. Catawampus. And look in that store, it's all catawampus. Look down there. This is an old building, or so it seems. An e-bike center. Currency exchange downstairs. Oh yeah, bikes. Bikes, 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 rental. First hour, additional hours, all day. So we're walking along Store Street. If you can see that sign, maybe you can't. There we go. We're walking along Store Street, and we came to Swift. And so we're gonna cross the street here where these people are holding the, the bus up so that we may cross. Did somebody just yell at her to get moving? Oh, look at Janet. She's a Boy Scout. Give the Boy Scout sign. I caught some of that on video. 
And that's the kind of service you can expect from your port monkeys. I think this is Chinatown. See, look down there. It's even got an archway or sign across the uh, street. In fact, I'm even going to walk out into the street. There, see that? Chinatown. In fact, let's cross. Those are not important. So, do you see this place? It's uh, all decorated. Lanterns, the whole schmear. Theater Alley. It's right there. Deal of the day. Another alley. Look at that. Yeah, exactly. On me, little Yunnan restaurant, Wale Yuan restaurant. Some alleyway. Guess we'll go up this way more. Umbrellas, stuff. alleys. Clothes, more umbrellas, fans. Fresh produce. So I guess a market. banner across there. Maybe a little bit down that way. I think we're going to walk back and go through one of those alleys. We walked up there. We're coming back down. We're going to go down this alley on the left here. Because it looks interesting. I notice it has a door so they can close it off. Nudabah. I see a red door. Hogwarts, sort of. Heart's content. So it's more shops and less restaurants. Yeah. Janet just said, hey, none of this seems to be Chinatown because this is the Beatles. He's still wearing the umbrella. Beatles Abbey Road. So it's a record store. We're and rare. CDs. We're rare. rare side record stores. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. But they're playing music, so I can't stay here because it's copyrighted. So don't do that. Thanks. Anyway, so I've been a talk the whole time. There we go. Sorry, Eric Clapton and Jack Bruce and Ginger Baker that I put your music in. But in the white room. Let's go this way. Because it's more local shops with pure love and chocolate. This is fresh pasta from Italy. Latana Baker. Well, I bet they have a cannoli in here, huh? Organic fair trade chocolate. Now we have to go back up. 
Okay, so officially I don't know where we're at, but Fantan Alley shops are open. Of course, I think that's where we just were. Hey, they have matcha tea, which I've heard of, but I have no idea what it is. Copper and ash, mammon, Island Farms Natrell. So, a lot of places to buy stuff, a lot of places to eat, and get a tattoo if you so desire, at Lucky Fortune Tattoo Studio. Tattoo. There's one of those doors that's closed. So we're headed back towards the water, that's the bridge. We came, wow, there's a lot of cars suddenly. We came out of an alleyway in that brick building. There's the tattoo place. We crossed here. The waterfront is right down there and the bridge over to West Victoria is right there. And we saw this Whistle Buoy Brewing Company and that there was another one of these alleys here. Oh, we're up above. Some big picnic tables down there. I guess this is uh, other places to eat and drink. Traders. Boom. Camera traders, buy, sell, and trade. Uh, camera store. Like the record shop guy said, there aren't many of us left. It had a fancy gate, and we only come from that way. But we've decided we want to go back to the water so that market square so we can try to go in the Empress Hotel so we're gonna head down to the water again Government Street and make a left Here's another orca statue painted it's peeling off though so we've come back along the water to the Empress Hotel so we're going to cross this street and try to go in. Here's some work is made out of uh, plants. I noticed they planted some banana trees around the place. Yeah. So there's a visitor center with a clock. It's almost two o'clock. This is the Empress Hotel. We're gonna walk in there for a minute. There's some gardens here you could walk through. Lots of people around, lots of cars. It is a hotel, of course. There's the uh, Carillon again. Of course, there's the Inner Harbor. government building over there, parliament or whatever. This is the veranda. So I guess this is a restaurant. Please wait to be seated. Hi. There's another view of it. So we're on the right side of it, the building. And it says the lobby lounge is in here. So let's give that a try. So gift shop. The library. So it's like a shopping mall here. I guess this is where you would have tea. So high tea in there is $82 a person. Of course, that's Canadian. So, you know, $70 US. Look at that. Reminds me of The Late Show, Stephen Colbert. Look 
continue on around here. So lots of shops selling what I'm assuming is expensive stuff, dining reservations, statues, if you need to buy a statue of a grouse, or pelicans, polar bear. Oh, look at this place. Miniature World, greatest little show on earth. Which are gardens. Seems like an underused area. There's a conference center. I guess there's no conference today. They've got totems though. This guy's got something in his pants. Let's see if you can figure out what it is. This is a, a lovely place, like a giant arboretum or something. So that was our visit to the Empress Hotel. Fairmont Empress. We come back out. Fisherman's Wharf is off in that direction. The government building is that way. And that's where we're going to head, up past that. But instead of walking along the water at this time, we're going to go over the hill back to the ship. So a different way. You could take Government Street all the way and then the ship would just be to your right. I think we're gonna jog over a little bit and walk through the park actually. There's a big park over here. Another banana tree. And another. And a statue. Is that a monkey? Is that a port monkey? I believe so. Look, there's a pedicab. They're having fun. Let's go this way. There's a monument to war veterans, I imagine. It said Korea and Afghanistan on it. So this is where the government is located. And I don't know, since it's Friday, if it's anything like the United States, there's nobody in there, right? bell tower over there on the other side of this building is the government center the government building this is the BC Museum here they've got some totems up there maybe we should go in there and look but we've come this way over to uh, Douglas Street on Belleville because Beacon Hill Park is straight up that way They've decorated this to look like the natives were here. If you know what I mean. A lot of totems, which they appear to be cleaning or something. And this is a replica of a, one of their houses, I think. A ceremonial house. See a lot of totems there. It's a whole totem park. See, it's a big building. Big 
bigger than I thought. But that's the museum. And that's probably a, an old house. Janet pointed out they're missing a totem. But this is what they look like from the back. This is what they look like from the front. As you can see, there's several more over there on the other side of the building house. But we're gonna head up this way. There's a couple more. And another missing one. So, Douglas Street. Welcome, Royal BC Museum, with an IMAX. This won't be very scenic, because we're just going to walk through residential area to a park. But the park is like up on the side of a hill. The museum is just right around on the other side of this building. And here's the beginning of Beacon Hill Park. I didn't realize it was quite so close, but it is. So we're going to walk up through there. And here is Beacon Hill Park. One of Victoria's most famous parks. Why, you might ask? Because it's the only one I know the name of. Across from Beacon Hill Park is, of course, South Park School. You may have heard of it. So we're going to go off this way because there's no sidewalk that way. some. Oh, I guess they're agapanthus. Up in the back there. Oh, there's some right here. Hey, here's a pedicab. There's a big flower thing. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going to stroll through the park here. I believe up here in a little bit we'll be able to see the ships. I see people up on a trail up there, looking off in the distance like they see something. So I'm wondering if we should be there. It's a plow or whatever. So we decided to walk up the path other people are just to see what they're looking at and this is more uh, dry and rustic up here so as you can see this park is a uh, rather large and rocky kind of reminds me of some areas of Northern California but why shouldn't it right there's the city off in the distance there Janet off in the other distance. So we're taking a path back down. We want to walk through the shady trees and gardens. There's another pedicab. There's a guy mowing the lawn over here and kicking up some dust. But we've come to an area of a pond or a lake. full of Canada geese and some other kinds of ducks. Let's go down here and have a look. It's got a stone bridge across it. And of course, lily pads, lily pads, ducks without heads. Oh, there's a sample. More 
gardens. So now we're in an area of tall redwoods or Douglas firs or some sort of pine tree. Also like Northern California, I guess. And there's a lookout in a quarter mile. Look out! In a quarter mile. Shh, the herons are nesting. Bandstand over there with some seats called Stage Park, I guess. And there's some kid screaming. This is like a forest here. So the park goes from like desert to forest, although that wasn't really a desert where the rocks were. So the park goes on and on. It's quite large. And we're coming out of the redwood forest or fir, cedar, spruce. There were several different kinds of trees into oak or something. I did say there was a lookout up here. I'm not sure where they meant though. If you walk long enough, you come up to an 18 hole putting green. I saw a path, there's a road going up. I saw a car go up it. So crossing on the path right back there was a little snake, kind of looked like a rosy boa if you know what those are. Not a gopher snake though, it was sort of a grayish red color. We have reached a place that has a giant flag of Canada, or at least a giant flag pole with a flag of Canada. Oh, I see the ocean out there. I guess this is a lookout. Look out! And snow capped mountains in the distance. Boats. I saw the ship, it's right down there through those trees at the water, of course. So I guess this is says Beacon Hill Park on the sign. So Beacon Hill. That must be the mainland of Canada. Because we're on Vancouver Island, of course. We're up on the hill there with the flag. We came down the hill into a construction zone, so we had to cross over here. I think there is a trail where these people are maybe. The walk so it goes along the coast there back to the ship. So we're gonna find out. There is a fence of sorts. A trail and then there's these offshoots. And I think this might go down to the ocean. So we're gonna take it for a little while. See what happens. Oh, I see some steps. Well, that's convenient. And then a trail going off that way. Um, I can hear the water. Janet thinks it ends here. Which means we'll have to come back up and go down another way, huh? I feel like it's just a turn. And then some more steps. And then the beach down below. We came down those stairs and found this beach full of logs, <laughs> drift logs. Water's fairly clear, it's probably cold. It's full of seaweed or whatever. See some cargo ships and other boats coming out of the harbor, which is over here to the right. Snow-capped mountains in the distance. But now we're gonna go back up those stairs. So we came up from the beach there. 
There's the flagpole with Canada on it. And we're gonna head off this way. I think this goes right to the ship. We came across a tree tunnel. And somebody breathing hard. There is the distinct smell of poop here. <coughs> I wish you could smell that. There's paths leading off. Oh, that's a bench. We came out of the tree tunnel. We're back in town. Oh, and this is mile zero of the Trans-Canadian Highway. This is the very beginning right here. And I don't know where it ends exactly. Newfoundland's on an island, so it has to be before that, I guess. But there it is. Came from the trees up there. Mile zero was over there. We're uh, walking along the path. Now we see a path down there, so we're gonna get our way down there. So you can go there along the street, or you can go here. Eventually we may have to go back up though. But remember the ship is down at sea level, so the closer we get, the less up there is. So we're out here on the uh, pebbly beach. Very crunchy. There's lots of people laying around out here. So we've been walking along for a while. The stairs are closed. Snow capped mountains, bird capped rock. Probably hard to see in a video. We're going to see how far this goes. Hopefully, we don't have to turn around back up. I need you to see some of the bushes here. You do not want to fall into that bush. That is very spiny. And it's got little fuzz balls on it. But we're hoping this eventually comes back up to the street. I see a railing and stairs, I think. So we may have to go upstairs after all. Somebody built a shelter out of the logs here. Yeah, this might actually be the end of the line. However, look where we are. Norwegian Joy, Holland America Mazdam. So, we're going to go back up and then we're back at the ship. So let me get Janet over here to tell you goodbye. Port Monkeys out. Bye. From Victoria. 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 Victoria.
looks like they're going to paint flowers. I don't think that's chalk. I think that's real paint. So they're going to make this very painty. We're back on this. We were down there a few minutes ago. Came down the street. We found the uh, cruise ship on the sidewalk. 